Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. So as you know we started our own HTG Alliance on server 52 and today I want to go through a few things like what do I do first, where do I focus, how do we build up the Alliance. And um, I'm aware of when it comes to building up an Alliance I might have a little advantage with um, the video and the Discord I already have. But for everyone who wants to build up an alliance, there are a few things you should um, prepare if you want to get a good and strong alliance. So first thing, you start on a new server and it doesn't matter where your ranking is, very likely your power ranking also of your alliance is more or less zero. You can try to check like the power rating of some of the commanders and then ask them to join you but the question is, why should they do that? So the way to go is be prepared. Um, set up a Discord server in advance and um, just tell them, hey guys, we are a new alliance. Um, we do have already a Discord. Um, we do have some players that are um, well aware of the game. And this way you can provide them a good and nice place. And also get an idea of the things you, you plan to do. So the first things you very likely want to do is you have to figure out where to build your HQ. So check the map. Are there any systems around with a buff that you want to take? Or um, is there a strategic location where you say, okay, um, this is something where we want to set up our HQ. So for us, we will very likely set it up around here because this is the only system with buffs. Um, as you can see, we do not really have um, much other alliances around here. BTC is down there. Um, RKS is up here, so that wouldn't be a problem. And we are directly at a system that allows us later to go to the middle circle. Besides that, um, for your lines, you will need to set some alliance tech. So for me, it was clear we want to get alliance territory as fast as possible because we plan to grow also as fast as possible. So that will be important. Ask your alliance members to do um, the alliance tech every day that you do get the points there. Help them and um, yeah, that's more or less the main things you have to do. For the buildings, I did a few videos long time ago. It didn't really change. You want to get your command center up as fast as possible. Um, one of the important things for this is you do get the second queue for free at the beginning, but after this you have to buy it. And um, I'll go into that already now because um, as you see, I still have my first purchase here, so I didn't buy anything yet. But there are a few things that are very, very interesting to buy. And one, when you start a new game, is a newbie special, the permanent building queue. Um, it's not priced very high and you do get the second queue permanently, so you don't have to buy it every day anymore. And that is really something that will help you out. I will not buy any ships, that's for sure. Um, resources. At the moment I don't have a problem with them, so I will also not buy these. There are sometimes some daily specials that might be interesting. Um, like when you want to get a very strong um, crew member, but right now there's none of these. I do not plan to go much for the secret prototype boxes early in the game. Um, so what I'm going to do is we do have the space concert here. I did make a video about the space concert and the rewards are amazing, especially if you are a new player. One million resources of one um, kind. This is really, really a lot for me and it will keep me going for quite some time. And the missions that I have to do to progress there, I can easily do them. Nothing there is behind a level wall where I say, oh, I cannot do that. Recruiting crew, I do that for sure as much as I can early in the game. And that's also something um, you will not have many um, of these uh, citation devices, but use them whenever you get them. 
getting new crew members will make a huge difference to you early in game um, because you do start with only one crew member i got already lucky i got two more i got kawasaki and madeline um, so at least one useful here this is not really useful but okay so get your crew members as early as possible for the research, research. Um, as usual yeah, i will yeah. focus on getting higher level um, warships for this i do need to get my research center up during yeah. that time while i'm locked with the research center i just continue with um, getting higher fleet leadership that will help me getting bigger and stronger fleets, so that is fine. Shipbuilding, you already saw it. I'm building mainly tier two um, destroyers because they do have the highest load of all ships early in game. So that will help me getting more resources with my two fleets. And um, yeah, I already built the Jason. I got lucky and I did get um, a Pelos. So I now have the Argo from the gift code, the Jason from the campaign, and the Peleus. So I do have some options, at least for gathering. And um, yeah, don't don't forget your VIP. Um, always get your box and do the daily login. This way you will get the higher points every day. Um, with a where do we have that information? I think it was this question mark here. It is. You do start with, I think, 20 points and you can build up your um, login streak up to 200 points, VIP points every day to get that level up quickly. What do I think about uh, VIP boxes? Um, they are not expensive and they do give you quite early now an Artemis, which is a really great ship. Um, you can also upgrade the Artemis with the blueprints you can buy in the trade center. So if you want to spend, um, this can be an option to get it very quickly. Honestly, I think it's the fastest ship. So not so far. It's for sure the fastest ship from the flying speed. But I think it's also the ship that you can get fastest now upgraded. Um, beside maybe the Titan, if you are going to win the galaxy star event so if you win the galaxy star event you do get titan blueprints and um, you do get quite a lot of titan blueprints so this will allow you to upgrade the titan very quickly too our alliance now has an event we need to occupy our first um, star platform and um, that's something you always should do and you always should join this because there are some rewards that you get for these things so you just go there um let's see there we are this is a level two platform and you can see the first um people already gathered around here with their bases so i will do exactly the same um at the beginning you do have enough um, teleport energy anyhow so you just look for a nice place um, honestly places that are closer to tactical training base usually have a certain appeal so i will choose to go in the top left corner here um, and if all your fleets are inside you can just teleport it won't take long just a few seconds and then you are there so we are doing this to get our platform. This will give us some bonuses. We do own the system. And um, also there are a few systems that give you some additional buffs. Let's see if I can show that to you while I'm porting. Here. When you see these symbols next to a system name, that means there is a buff. So when you go then into the system, yeah um one second as soon as i'm arriving there i can go into the system without having the problem that the game is moving me around so let's go there if you click on the star platform and it has a buff it will show this buff here so this one does not have a buff and the one with the buff was down here 
So let's take a look at the platform level four. So that's the reason why we don't start with this. As you can see, it got a gather speed buff of 8%. And um, yeah, so easiest is if you go around, we already have some players going there, but this is only for scouting. So um, we'll just wait for the event to start and then will take over the platform. Okay, so here we are. The timer is off and we are just going to attack the platform. Um, together we now have a little bit more than half a million power versus one million platform power. That should work pretty well. If you... Um, yeah, just make sure that you have enough players. Also, if you fail, you can just attack it again. So it's not like it's resetting. You do have the whole 45 minutes time to get the platform done. So um, as it looks right now, we will not manage to kill the platform in the first attack. And therefore we will just send the fleets in one more time to give it the killing blow and take it over then. Okay, so when you finished it, you have it um, temporarily occupied. You still need to build it. Um, we can transfer a building or we can build a new one. So in our case, we are going to build a new one because we don't have one yet. And then we can choose the HQ. Um, this can be done by UR5 or by UR4. As soon as it's done... The Alliance's core building was built together with the union formed by the Adventurer Alliances. Only and by yeah, having established this building, we are going to build our HQ here. We have to go to build and we have to send a fleet inside. You don't have to send your main fleet inside. Um, just anything is fine. If you want to, you can send your main fleet, but in my case, I will just call back that one and set it in there. Um, join and bring it in there. Um, the more fleets are inside, the faster it will build. We now have 46 minutes. We just saw one um, fleet joined, so 38 minutes. Soon as the next fleet joins, it will be faster. And from there you can go on and take one system after the other. Keep in mind, if you are going for any kind of system buffs, the system needs to be connected to your HQ. So if you would have a system buff over here, your HQ is there and you just take the system, the buff will not be activated. Always needs to be connected directly with your HQ. Okay, so I hope that video gave you a quick idea what we are doing and how it's going and yeah if you didn't do it give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video again